at a time when humanity can no longer be sustained on Earth. Another world, a sanctuary, is created to accommodate our needs. All the major cities, perfectly recreated on an artificial planet called Icarus. While some believe Icarus is the future, others still keep hope in our first true home, Earth. I couldn't sleep last night. Something about it just felt like that cold night on November 11th. Do you remember? November 11th, the night you left for Earth. I don't want to remember. It should be morning on Icarus right now. If things haven't changed, you're probably at the park. That's where you loved spending your mornings. But things have changed, haven't they? This is what I wore that night. This is what I looked like when you last saw me three years ago. I wonder how you look now. I hear the mirroring phase on Icarus is complete. They say it's identical to Earth now, at least what Earth used to be, down to every brick and stone. I suppose people would never have agreed to the migration if it were otherwise. Is it true though? They say that everything is in its place, that everything's there. Not everyone, not me. When you left Icarus, you left me with this. A gift to say goodbye. Something I was never good at doing. You gave me the world, but all I wanted was us. I remember the launch like it was yesterday. The lift to the shuttle. Yesterday feels like a world away. I suppose it was. All I could do was watch as you disappeared into the night. Back to a world where us would never survive. We agreed to give each other space. Space. It's over 380,000 kilometers of space between us now. Maybe that's not enough. I don't know. All I know is I still look for you in the places we talked about. Our favorite place. We used to love coming here. I wonder if it feels the same on Icarus. You would just sit there and float on all your thoughts. You would look for new coins in the fountain. Counting the new wishes always makes you smile. I've made a few since then. There are days I wish I stayed on Icarus. To start a new life on a new world with you. But then, there are also days I believe this is what I was meant for. To help bring Earth back to life again. Those were your words. To increase the chances of a better future for mankind. It's like the wall of names here. Everyday heroes that sacrifice themselves for the lives of others. Elizabeth Boxall, aged 17 of Bethnal Green, who died of injuries received in trying to save a child from a runaway horse. Thomas Simpson, died of exhaustion after saving many lives from the breaking ice at Highgate Ponds. What will I be remembered for? Funny, isn't it? We can migrate billions of people off a dying planet, but we can't save ourselves.
from heartache. You let me go. It's time I do the same. One step at a time. I'm taking mine today. More ships are launching today from Icarus. That means more teams will join us to terraform Earth. It'll take time, but it'll be worth it. After all, it's home. Home. If we're ever really able to go back, I wonder what kind of person I'll be. Until then, will I think on my past or look to my future? I'm sure one day Earth will grow back to life. But I wonder, can the same be said about us? I don't know. Tomorrow feels like a world away. I suppose it is.